Hi guys and girls, Miss Vaselli here with your next math flipped lesson of the week. Today we're talking about the commutative property of multiplication. The commutative property is just a fancy way of saying that it really doesn't matter what order factors are in when we're multiplying numbers. 6 times 3 is the same as 3 times 6 because the product is 18 of both equations. Let me show you what I mean. So our guiding question of today is how do you use the commutative property to solve multiplication problems? Does the model of 3 times 5 look exactly the same as a model of 5 times 3? In this lesson, you will review the commutative property by using visual models. Let's review. Does the order of the factors matter? Well, I just told you it doesn't. 2 times 3 equals 6, the same as 3 times 2 equals 6. Those factors are in different orders, but produce the same product. What does two groups of three look like? There's two groups of three. Are five groups of three the same as three groups of five? Or, in other words, is five times three the same as three times five? Let's take a look. I have five groups of three apples. So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So five groups of three of anything gives me 15. In this case, 15 apples. Now over here, I have three groups of five. Let me count just to make sure that I have the same amount of apples. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. I had fifteen in this group of apples when I had three groups of five, and I had fifteen apples in total in this group when I had five groups of three. So both equations have a product of fifteen. Let's solve six times three and three times six. There are my six groups of three apples each, and I know as a mathematician, I know my math facts, and I know that six times three is 18. Now I have three groups of six, and I know that three times six is 18 as well. So both equations have a product of 18. So it doesn't really matter what order the factors are in. I have a six first here and my three second, and then I have a three here and my six goes second, but they both get me the same product, the same result. In this lesson, you have reviewed the commutative property of multiplication by using visual models. Let's take a look at some guided practice. There are two parts to this guided practice. Part A tells you to draw a picture for nine times 12 and for 12 times nine. Now, you don't have to be an artist in order to draw this picture. You can choose to draw apples, or you can just choose to draw dots. But make sure that as a mathematician, you're doing your very best work, and you're paying attention to detail as you are finishing this part of this guided practice problem. Part B says, are these problems the same? Does the order of the factors matter? Why or why not? Be sure to explain your answer. Let's take a climate check. Now that you've had a chance to solve a problem on your own, how do you feel?